In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add authentication to your GraphQL subscriptions. I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up subscriptions in GraphQL, and I'm going to assume you already know how to set up session authentication. Now, if you don't already know how to set that up, I'll link a video below walking you through. But in this video, we're going to be using Express Session for the authentication layer. Basically, we store a cookie on that user, and if the user sends the cookie up with their request, we know they are logged in because we're storing a session on them. So that is what we're going to use. And first, I want to kind of walk you through what kind of authentication with subscriptions I'm talking about. So with a regular mutation, if I'm not logged in and I try requesting it, like this create book mutation, it's going to throw a not authenticated. Now if I log in, it's going to be happy with it and it's going to work just fine. Now basically I want to add the same thing to subscriptions. So if I subscribe to, for example, my new book subscription, I want that to trigger whenever I create a new book. That works all good. But the problem is right now, if I try doing this in an incognito window, I'm obviously not logged in or haven't logged in and uh, I'm able to subscribe. And when I create another book, this guy is able to see the newest book sent. So that is what I want to prevent. When he tries to subscribe, I'm going to tell him, hey, you need to authenticate before you can subscribe. All right, so that is what we're going to be setting up. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing to realize is when we send that subscribe or asking that we want to subscribe, we're actually sending up the cookie um, that we can use to see whether the user is logged in. So how do we access that? Well, Apollo has a option for us under the subscriptions object called onConnect. So this is a function, and this function uh, basically gets called every time someone tries to connect uh, to a subscription. The first parameter is a connection uh, object. It just has some metadata. You can log that if you like. We don't personally need it right now. Uh, second one is a WebSocket connection, which we do need. So this website WebSocket connection, if we just log it, so uh, CL console log, there's a property on it called uh, upgrade request. Uh, and basically it uh, is mad at us because we're using TypeScript. I'm just gonna say any. For some reason, uh, this is not a property that TypeScript knows about. But this is basically a request that you would normally get uh, if you did a mutation or uh, just an express request that session is able to grab the cookie off of. And so this request has a cookie on it. Uh, and we can see this if we uh, go to our logs after console logging it. Come over here, we just run that. We can see here is the request or the upgrade request. Um, we can see all these properties on it and if we scroll through here we should see like a header or something uh, here here we go so we can see there's a header on there here's a cookie called qid is my cookie and so basically well it's either qid or connect sid i forget what i called it it's one of these cookies though but you'll notice we have access to these cookies so we're going to use that to authenticate the user so normally if we're using express session the uh, cookie is already parsed automatically for us but in this case it's not because it's not running through the middleware so we can manually run it through the middleware by saying const um, session middleware and creating an instance of it still going to pass it to our regular server and then here i can say session middleware and I'm going to say upgrade request. Second thing is the response. I'm just going to return it, put an empty object there, say as any, because we don't have a response. And this next function at the end is basically the callback. So this function is going to be called whenever the session is, has been added to the request. So inside of here, if we do a console log, we can say WebSocket upgrade rec dot session. All right, so let's see this. So when I start my server, once I log in, it's going to show that user with a session. So let me first show you it without a session. So let's run it here. So you notice we can see the session on the user and there is no user ID on this session. But if I come over here and I log in and then I try subscribing, you'll notice the second subscription that came in, it came with a user ID. So we can check whether a user ID is in this session or not. And if it is, we let them subscribe. Otherwise, we throw an error. All right, so let's close this, close this. So uh, first solution that you can do is you can just add that here. 
you can say if user ID exists, or if it doesn't exist, we're going to throw an error. Not authenticated. All right. So we'll let this restart, and then we will try subscribing. So if I come over here, and I'm going to clear this since we have a lot of crap in there. And we get not authenticated. Perfect. So now let me try doing it by logging in and subscribe. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here. I can't see it either. So let's create a new one. Subscribe. Notice it let me subscribe. Create a book. Cool, we didn't break anything. So that is the first way you can do it. Now, what we just added, basically added authentication across all our subscriptions. But you may want to pare it down a little bit. In some subscriptions, you allow authentication. Some subscriptions, you don't. Also, you may want to do different conditions. Right here, we just globally checked whether they're authenticated or not. You may want to check whether the user has access to it, whether they're an admin or something, all kinds of different checks. So how can we get more specific about this? Well, we can actually create a promise here that is going to resolve whenever we get the data. So we can say resolve our request. And we can put that in there. So now we have a promise here that waits for the session to be parsed and it's going to return this upgraded request. So now we can return this in our on connect. And so what that does is this actually, whatever we return from our on connect, we can access in our resolvers. The way we can access it is by grabbing the connection. So this is something that Apollo gives us. Again, this is, I believe the first parameter right here as well. Um, and we can pass it into our resolvers. So what connection has is uh, some metadata. It also has a dot, uh, context inside of this connection. And that context is whatever we return from the on connect. In this case, we return an object of the key request. So what this allows us to do is come to our subscription and then we can do whatever authentication we want to do to our individual subscription. All right, so let's do that. So I'm going to return pub sub just the same. I just changed this so we have curly braces. So now I don't care about the first few first two parameters here, but the third one, I want to grab that connection. And I told you the connection has a context on it. And then I told you it returns or it, that object is whatever we returned from this on connect, which in this case is an object and it has dot rec and that has the session and then the user ID. So we can say, if it does not have the user ID, you're going to throw a new error. Not off. All right. Otherwise, we just return. And so what this allows you to do is we can add these checks to the individual subscriptions. So for this subscription, I would like it to be checked and maybe other subscriptions you don't care. All right. So let's make sure this is up and running. Awesome. Now let's come over here. Let's try running it again. We get not off. Perfect. And oh, what happened here? All right, <laughs> reset on me. Uh, let's see if I can remember what my username and password was. So login, I think I use Bob2 at bob.com, password Bobby. That's my guess. Run that, awesome. And subscription, new book. not off. All right. So I messed something up. Let's see if I come over here. Uh, oh yeah. So this is an important thing. You need to make sure that you get correct request.credentials needs to be set to include. So save that. Now let's try logging in again and grab a new book and cool. Now we're successful. Let's just make sure we didn't break creating a new book too. Perfect. And our new book comes in. So there you go. So that is how you can add authentication to your GraphQL subscriptions and how you can pare it down and add any kind of authentication to the individual subscriptions themselves. And again, you don't have to do an if statement here. You can also create your own kind of like higher order resolvers or middleware that runs and makes these checks for subscriptions as well.